St. Ambrose is a historically black Episcopal church in Raleigh, North Carolina. Our Christology guides our worship and Christian formation to embrace blackness and disrupt white supremacy. Our vision is that we give worship to God, receive wisdom from God, and work alongside God. This is our WWW, Worship Wisdom Work. Baptism and the Holy Eucharist show both worship and wisdom from our vision. Baptism is in a 22-gallon water font and, using a half quart of chrismation holy oil, point to God's abundant love. We baptize infants naked, according to the early Christian church custom, which highlights the beauty of the black body. They are marked as Christ's own forever, reclaiming the word marked from the association with black bodies branded as enslaved property and today marked by gun violence. Jesus is black throughout the church, including the Ethiopian Stations of the Cross and icons of St. Ambrose's black Episcopal saints, Blessed Henry Beard Delaney, Blessed Anna Julia Cooper, Blessed Pauli Murray. Jesus said, let the little children come to me. We center children in worship by inviting them around the altar. Service music is based on African-American spirituals, composed by our rector in 1925. Hear the Sanctus, based on He Rose. We lift our hands for the Lord's Prayer. Our jazz band performed at the Ocean City Jazz Festival. We process the Blessed Sacrament around the church for Palm Sunday, showing God's holiness moving from the church building to consecrate God's people. Our third word in our vision is work, pointing to outreach. We were born in environmental racism in 1868, building a church in Smoky Hollow, a black community whose name came from the nearby billowing, noxious train depot smoke and gases. The government forced us to move in 1900 by selling our property to a cotton mill. We physically picked up our church, rolled it one mile, moving the black church closer to black people. In 1965, we moved again to Raleigh's newly designated black community in the Walnut Creek wetland, where Raleigh dumped raw sewage for 70 years. In the 1990s, we formed a nonprofit, Partners for Environmental Justice, to deal with the black community's flooding. In 2020, the church launched a new county-wide community organizing power group called One Wake, which mandated the developers to improve the downstream flooding impact of a 150-acre site one half mile upstream from the flood-prone community. In 2021, St. Ambrose received the Creation Care Grant, creating a podcast on environmental racism, an Ethiopian-inspired labyrinth, and the Healing Garden, using therapeutic horticulture to meet the mental and emotional health needs of the community. St. Ambrose stands as a congregation of resurrection, full of parishioners who are resurrectors, being seeds of transformation in the community.